Good morning, Commissioners, Chief Terrazas, City Attorney, Ms. Iniguez, Eric Scott, Fire Captain, Paramedic, and Public Information Officer. Uh, this morning, the LAFD Administration is honored to highlight and recognize California Region Task Force 9, the members and their deployment to the January storms of 2018 in Montecito and in Santa Barbara. So we welcome you at this point to turn to the um, screens there where we'll show you some photos of the deployment as we tell the story so you could capture some of the challenging conditions that these members were in. Uh, it took place on Thursday, January 11, 2018, where Urban Search and Rescue Regional Task Force 9, which is comprised of 29 individuals and two canine search dogs, were deployed to Santa Barbara and Montecito to assist in search and rescue operations after a major storm deluged the area. The intense rains uh, dislodged boulders, causing heavy mud flow along the hillsides that were scarred by the sprawling Thomas fire late last year. A number of homes were actually ripped from their foundations. Some were pulled more than a half a mile by water and mud before they broke apart. The death toll from the massive debris flow that buried homes and cars under the torrent of mud and boulders is upwards in 20 in Montecito, with many others injured and some still missing. Approximately 100 homes were destroyed, along with eight commercial properties, and 300 homes were damaged in the mudslides. Also, we had Strike Team 1001A and 1880C that were deployed to the January storms. They were tasked with search and rescue of those 300 structures. So they had to do structure assessment, evacuation, performing disabilities and functional needs support as well. And additionally, we had two teams that consist of two live find dogs and two human remain dogs to perform search and rescue. So in total, the LAFD sent over 85 personnel to assist Ventura County with their search efforts. We're very proud of these members assisting the residents in need. Of course, our mission is to preserve life and property that often takes us out of our jurisdiction, but our immediate response and the desire to help is what the LAFD is all about. So at this point, we'd like to ask the following members to come up to the podium. Battalion Chief Mark Akahoshi, Captain Sergio Franco, Brett Willis, Adam Davis, Thomas Hinsgen, Scott Quinlan, Apparatus Operators Eric Acevedo, Holland Bullock, Christopher Gibbony, and Ryan Primrosh, and Firefighters Anthony Canada, Jesse Franco, Dustin Hurwitz, Firefighter K-9 Specialist Eric Ingstad and K-9 Java, Firefighter Mario Gonzalez, Firefighter K-9 Specialist Margaret Stewart and K-9 Vea, and K-9 Specialist Jeff New with K-9 Faith. Now, there were many other talented individuals that deployed to assist in these uh, storms that are not present here today. Um, but at this point, we would like to go ahead and read the certificate. On behalf of the Los Angeles Fire Department, I want to commend you for the technical expertise, courage, and commitment that you demonstrated during the week-long rescue and recovery efforts at the 2018 XSB January storms in Montecito in January 2018. While being faced with many significant challenges and days of arduous and precarious work, you and the rest of Urban Search and Rescue Team remained vigilant and determined to accomplish your mission. In the course of the mission, your team worked methodically to search a vast zone impacted by devastation, which had difficult access, dangerous, deep mud covering many invisible voids beneath and sharp, contaminated debris that was spread throughout the search areas. The team's expertise, leadership, and coordination with other government entities USAR teams and adherence to all USAR and OSHA rules in the systematic search for victims and casualties was an exceptional display of your talents and capabilities. The citizens of Los Angeles and the members of this department are truly fortunate to have such an expert and trusted members as yourselves. Through your hard work, you have represented the Los Angeles Fire Department in the highest honor and distinguished yourself as a consummate fire service professional. 
presented this sixth day of February 2018, Ralph M. Tarazis. I always say it, I, I've always believed it, that we are the greatest fire department in the world. Here is another example of our capability. Another thing I like to say, and I'll say it again, because it, it, it is in alignment with what I want to point out in terms of excellence. And excellence comes in multiple forms in our department. But the people behind me, they achieve excellence because they have the passion to direct their efforts, do everything they can to do the, do the job to the best of their ability. And that's why they're here today. Uh, we have uh, people who are passionate about emergency medical services, about fire suppression, uh, about uh, hazardous materials, and about urban search and rescue. Uh, when we get asked, to respond outside of the city limits, we have a discussion, myself and Chief Poyer, about our capability. What is our risk in, inside the city, particularly about brush fires, and what is our risk if we send them out? What does that do to our staffing? And in this, this situation, there was no big risk to us, so we immediately deployed the task force uh, behind me, and they did great work. You saw the pictures up on the screen. Uh, very difficult, very arduous, very emotional, and it wasn't a one-day thing. They were there for a few days, and uh, we supported them with our peer support team, with our uh, uh, partnership with UFLAC and, and the psychologists. So we are behind you even when we're not there. We monitor what they're doing. We get reports every day, and we are so proud that we have the capability to send our best to help the people of Montecito. So congratulations, I'm very, very proud of you. We'll have Chief Akahoshi come up and say a few words. Uh, Chief Tarazis, member of the board uh, and audience, uh, thank you very much. Uh, we stand here very honored and humbled. We're honored because we're recognized by the board uh, and the department for the efforts that the team put out uh, while we're deployed out there in Montecito. Um, it took a lot of years of training for these members to reach that technical uh, uh, status of, of their abilities to perform urban search and rescue during difficult times. Many of the members you see up here are also members of the uh, California Task Force One, which we traveled across the country to Florida. It took a lot of training throughout the years, so uh, we're very honored in, in being recognized. But we're also humbled. We're humbled because we are doing the things that we are supposed to be doing on this department, and that's train hard and save lives and property. We went up to Montecito with that thought in mind, but what we really came to a conclusion is that part of our job description is to bring closure to a lot of people that probably lost a lot of uh, family and property. So going up there, thinking we're gonna do some rescues, thinking we're gonna do recovery, but also knowing that we did closure for a lot of people up there, so we are very humbled for what we did. So thank you again for this day and uh, uh, the USAR program is, is moving forward every day. We're putting it on training, recruiting a lot of new members, and uh, the program is growing. So thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you. 